again, my, my words may have been private with him, but I, I tried to convey it. Oh, always, always. I, and finally, in the end, it, it's all the same thing, it's all the same effort. Upon this course, the hope and the life that we have and all share toward freedom, freedom for all. The frontier we live on, we all live on, indeed we know is not new. It is hard to live on the frontier. I've spoken, I've said openly, that I didn't want people to elect me thinking that I promised them a soft and easy life. No, it is not so. I've always warned the burden should be great if you have difficult. Our efforts in education and technology, our efforts in, in defending our unions, our working people, are looking up opportunities for all, for everyone. Our support of the arts, the freedom and value of, of broad creativity, new ideas, the basic need and indeed we all share to defend this nation, to fulfill our responsibilities around the world, yes, and avoid nuclear war. Indeed, a new vision for civil rights and justice and then with it all, space expression, space cheap. These efforts are all born of the same thing, our common hope, our common future, in freedom. We, we choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. It is hard to be who and what we are. It is hard to live on the frontier. Oh, well, well, we're all glad you're here today, uh, and I should note that, uh, you know, but uh, Jackie and I uh, at the White House uh, have uh, invited, uh, hosted, uh, and gathered uh, many, many artists, uh, along with those uh, gifted and acclaimed in the world of uh, literature, also uh, through, uh, through many, uh, many special events. Uh, we uh, well, we fed a lot of people. Uh, see, artists are very, uh, are very hungry. It seems uh, it's a uh, well, we like we like the White House, but uh, it's becoming a sort of, of eating place for artists and, and writers with nowhere to where to go. Uh, and it's a uh, well, it's funny, but they uh, they never ask us out. No, never. Yet. Uh, should be noted that too, uh, too often in the past uh, we have thought of the artist as, as an, an idler and of little use. And of the, the lover of art, the love of artistry itself, uh, as somehow a uh, sissy and of little effect. We have done both and injustice. The life of the artist is, in relation to his work, stern and, stern and lonely. He or she has labored hard, often amid the deprivation to, to perfect his skill. His or her working life is marked by intense application and intense discipline of such, a, such energy, quality, and condition of we by necessity must and do all aspire. Poetry, uh, artistry, uh, a creative vision. These are the fundamental and the fundamental basis. They become indeed the fundamental basis for the renewing of mankind. Uh, the energy by which each generation builds greater things, greater tools, uh, technology, education. Uh, indeed, from all, all that's been left us. Business, uh, business can flourish, yes, with stagnant ideas for a while, for a time. 
but without an ovation, it will dry out and die. Indeed, I should note also that Professor Einstein noted that, that while maintaining all the values of all the values of hard science and mathematics, it was his imagination and creative vision that brought him to his, his greatest, greatest discovery. I, I have never taken the view that the, uh, the world of the politics and the world, world of poetry are, are so far apart that well, I believe that politicians uh, and poets share at least one thing, and that is that their greatness depends upon the courage with which they face the, challenge, the challenges of life, uh, to all the, the values and, and objectives of uh, of government and statecraft, a poetic vision nourishes us. Uh, when, uh, when power leads man toward arrogance, poetry reminds him of his limitations. Uh, when power narrows the area of, of man's concern, or, or poetry reminds him of the, the richness and diversity of existence beyond man. When power corrupts, poetry cleanses. I believe in an America that is not afraid of grace nor beauty. And I am certain that, that through the dust of time and centuries, that we should be remembered not for our victories in battle and military might, but for our civilization and our contribution to the human spirit. Indeed, remember, for that fire from which we were born and of which we are whole, of this record of history, do we indeed aspire to reveal the true nature and value of a free people. And when, in some few years from now, men, free explorers, walk on the surface of the moon, in that effort, in those moments of the greatest realization of our hope, I promise you, there shall be poetry. And they, they as, as free explorers, shall take away with their visions and artistry a creative energy and expression indeed that shall be born of all of us here and it shall remain for all that come after. Oh, one moment here, excuse me. Uh, Mrs. Lincoln, uh, I'm going to need you in a few moments. Uh, he, uh, well, you all should, uh, should have been introduced to Mrs. Lincoln, uh, my secretary. She's, uh, you know, she's been with me uh, for 12, uh, 12 years. And uh, it seems uh, with each, uh, each year's passing, uh, she finds it uh, easier and uh, easier to uh, ignore me. Well, uh, in any case, uh, oh, there's one other note I should uh, remind you guys of. You know what? Uh, you're in a very special place. So we we had uh, Commander Shepard, uh, our first uh, in space, uh, Commander Adam Shepard, our first in space here at the White House. And uh, 